changing your life one story at a time. This is the Chicken Soup for the Soul podcast with Editor-in-Chief Amy Newmark. Hey, it's Amy Newmark with your daily dose of Chicken Soup for the Soul inspiration to make you simply happy. On Friday, we talked with Alex Kajitani about our new book, Chicken Soup for the Soul, Inspiration for Teachers. Today, I want to share a couple of stories from that book. These stories are about what two teachers learned from their students. Our first teacher, J.C. Santos, says that he had wanted to be a writer since his childhood, but instead he grew up and became a teacher at a small Catholic school in West Seattle. He didn't stop writing altogether, but he gave up on his first novel, which he admits he had barely started anyway, unless writing the first chapter 18 times counts for something. Then one spring, four years into his teaching career, J.C.'s seventh grade class got to meet a best-selling author named Jamie Ford. After hearing his advice about writing award-winning stories, J.C. started thinking about writing that novel again. He created a novel writing project with his students. Each week, the students would spend an hour writing stories and sharing their work in small groups. During that hour, J.C. told them that he would be writing, too. The kids were excited to have their teacher working alongside them, except that J.C. still had his writer's block. Little did the kids know that during that hour, J.C. was writing emails, grading papers, even shopping online for school supplies. Then along came Kellen, a gifted athlete who was also a wonderful coach to his teammates. He approached J.C. during one of their story writing hours, and he saw what he was actually doing on his computer. Hey, you're not writing, he exclaimed. After he caught J.C. not writing another time, the dynamic changed. And suddenly, J.C. didn't have writer's block. That novel that he had not really been working on for four years finally began to take shape. J.C. saw the whole plot laid out in front of him. Now he knew what to write, but he still needed someone to push him, and that someone was his student, Kellen. The boy who coached the other students now became the teacher's writing coach. In J.C.'s class, each student had a job, whether it was erasing the whiteboard or washing the lunchroom tables or putting up chairs at the end of the day. So J.C. and Kellen agreed that Kellen's job would be to keep his teacher writing. Kellen started off by assigning J.C. to write two pages a week. Then over Christmas break, he assigned him 10 pages. When J.C. didn't produce... Kellen kept after him. Before he knew it, J.C. had 50 pages completed, then 75, and finally, five months after becoming his student's student, he had completed the first draft of his novel. J.C. says about Kellen, I will always be grateful for his unyielding faith in me. One of the most powerful lessons I've learned as a teacher is that students can inspire teachers to do some amazing things. Now, Melissa Face, another teacher, writes about the same thing in her story in that same Inspiration for Teachers book. She was a high school English teacher, and she had a regular practice. Her students would read their work aloud to each other, which would prepare them for life as adults when they might need to make presentations. One day, a girl named Amber was reading a piece to the class. Melissa found that she was captivated by what Amber was saying. She was talking very honestly about her fear of participating in exercises just like this. She said she had social anxiety, and despite her fear of speaking in public, she was doing it right then, sharing her innermost thoughts with her classmates. Melissa was so impressed. She couldn't stop thinking about how Amber overcame her fear and talked to the class. And Melissa felt a little guilty, too for not thinking about the fear that might be afflicting some of her students. A month later, the tables were turned on Melissa. She received an email from her department chair asking if she would participate in a school-wide assembly in which the English teachers would read their own work out loud to the entire student body and to members of the faculty. It would be a total of 400 people in the audience. Melissa was horrified. There was no way she could do this. But then she thought about Amber and her piece on social anxiety. If Amber could do it, Melissa could do it. She says, It was the perfect opportunity to show my students 
that I was willing to take on challenges similar to the ones I asked of them. And Melissa did it. Another teacher inspired by a student to grow and mature and reach for the stars. So that's one of the interesting themes from our new book, Chicken Soup for the Soul, Inspiration for Teachers. Thanks for listening today. Come back tomorrow for Tip Tuesday. We're going to look out the window and talk about resuming those outdoor walks or runs with a couple of stories that will give you just the motivation that you need.